Hello, this is Gio, and I have an old screen door here. You don't see a screen here because actually I removed it. It was all ripped up, and this is actually a wood door. I just recently painted this, and I want to replace the screen, and I'll show you how to do that today. So what you're going to need to purchase for yourself is just some... Uh, some screening. Now this one's just bright aluminum screening. There's all sorts of different types of screening. I chose this one because it's kind of a large opening and the aluminum screening's the toughest. But you're also going to need some trim to kind of hide after you. You could kind of see a bunch of staples here from the uh, previous screening that was there. I removed that. I painted over that. And you're going to need to hide uh, the edge of the screening where you're going to restaple it in. Now this was the original trim here, it was painted. I'm gonna paint the uh, new one, but you could just see it's just uh, uh, nailed in uh, to hide the edge of the screening. And of course you're gonna need a staple gun and some staples I'm using, let's see what size am I using here? I'm using just 5 16th inch staples. So just by taking your screening, you just wanna kinda fit it in place, making sure that it's it kind of covers your area. And don't worry about how far. You don't have to make it perfect. We're going to trim it at the end. And so just make sure that it falls naturally. At one corner, place a staple. And then at the other corner, also place a staple. Keep it somewhat taut. And then every about four inches, you want to put another staple. Okay, so next you just want to take the bottom and try to keep it a little bit taut. Don't pull it too much. You don't want to tear out the staples on top. Just try to keep it taut. And then the staple. And then the other side. And then every four inches again. And now that the top and bottom are done, you, you want to do the sides. And I like to start in the middle and just put one staple on one side. And then the opposite side, just pull a little bit, make it a little bit taut. And go about halfway between the two, staple. And again, make it a little taut. Just like that. And then just keep on doing that one, one, two, in between the staples until you have about a spacing of four inches each all the way down. And then use some scissors or a straight edge to trim the excess. Don't over trim, don't try not to get too close to the staples. Just use your your piece of wood as your guide because you want to just be just slightly under the width of your trim piece. Okay, so what I did was I actually uh, cut cut the piece of um, trim to the size I wanted, just so it fits. I painted the edge that was against the screen because I'm going to paint this piece and it's harder to paint against the screening. And so I just pre-painted that. I'll paint the rest when it's all on. And I just pre-drilled some holes, put some nails in it so I can uh, just tack it up.
And there you have it, the final product. I think one more coat of paint should do the trick. We have a nice screen door for the summer. Keep the bugs out. And I hope this helped you out. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.